Hey what's up beautiful people, it's Sindarima, welcome to the channel. Today we have this very interesting video and it's titled, Is White Privilege Real? Hmm. Also, I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. What's up guys, this is Wilby with PragerU and welcome to beautiful Florida. Today we're talking to people about white privilege and whether or not they think it's real. Let's do it. And guys, before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so that you never miss a new video here on YouTube. So you heard of white privilege before? Yes, I have. Yeah, you think white privilege is a pretty real, significant thing? Yeah, I think it's definitely real. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, I definitely think there is discrimination in society now. I mean, like some, there's like some stuff that I look at and it makes it seem like it's legit. I don't know, though. When you just think about everything as a whole and then society and just different ways, different situations play out for different people compare the two situations it's it's pretty obvious there's no denying it just the well um people saying white privilege is real i've just got to ask because i keep hearing white privilege white privilege and we're not taking away from the fact that there are some people that can be a t be terrible towards other people just because based on their skin color we're not talking about it we're talking about generally white privilege as a thing that people are saying now i want to ask and i always ask this question especially with the fact that people say white privilege is a thing does white privilege come with a switch or a button that because you have a white skin color you can automatically activate it or you can autom automatically use it and switch it on i would really love to know because <sighs> probably i might go purchase one and start wearing the white privilege button or maybe the watch or something yeah i'm asking the question and and I honestly need an answer to that, but yeah, let's go on. Don't mind it. Just throughout, like, uh, even housing, education, um, it's everywhere. I mean, I think there are some things that some minorities may not have, like certain resources they won't always have access to. What about white people that don't have those resources, too? Mm. That also happens, but minorities, it probably might be more common than now the problem is what i get and understand from the ideology that lots of these people always make and say that white privilege is thin is because some people just want people to feel guilty because they have got a certain thing and, and we understand that sometimes some system are placed or are designed to cater for the needs of some certain group of people but the thing the point where people say white privilege and white um, white privilege is a thing and the likes and all people have got better resources just because their skin color now i honestly love the question that he ha he asked what about the white people that have not got these resources that can't have access to these resources where does the white privilege come in or how can it, they activate their white privilege button to start benefiting from these resources like come on we should make we, we should i don't get why what are we doing what are we getting into do, why are we doing this to ourselves it don't make sense honestly it doesn't but yeah let's go on then white people why would you say that different statistics that i've looked at and sources cool I mean, there's absolutely things that like you get advantages with if you're white, but like as far as affirmative action and like institutional, there's such massive advantages you get when it comes to non-white privilege. You think there are certain instances of like black privilege as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, to an extent, yeah. Cer certain situations, yeah. I agree. I got a 33 on my ACT. If I went to, you know, Stanford with that, and I was a Native American, I would begin a full ride scholarship right now. But you know, yeah, they don't have like the straight white male scholarships that you have for I'm all the other minorities and everything. Mark Cuban tried to come up with one of those, and people called him racist for that. Do you think? Th yeah. Now uh, it's a good thing that the um, other dude, the other one, because I don't like to use to call people based on their skin color. The guy wearing a black T-shirt. I love the fact that he recognize and he said there is a thing like black privilege because of course there is a thing like black privilege because if we're going to be going with this idea to say there is a white privilege and we could also run with it to say yes there is a black privilege because yes there are instances where there is black privilege and black people take really good advantage and make really good use of the black privilege thing so if there is a white privilege there also is a black privilege. I think we can all say, agree and settle on that. But yeah, let's go on. Those people called him racist for that. Do you think that, like me as a white guy, I have more privileges than you as a 
Latina? Mm, I've never experienced any like disadvantages really, personally, so. That's a good thing. It's like a lot of people will talk about white privilege as if it's like a really big deal, but then haven't actually mm. experienced any instances of it. Yeah. What resources do you think minorities don't have that white people have? Like certain access to stuff like laptops and school and stuff. Alex, you're Mexican. You have a laptop? I do. Your family have a laptop? They do. What do you think about the concept of white privilege? Oh, oh my god. This is really shocking. Wait. I'm trying to understand. Probably somebody would explain this to me. Doesn't mean that, especially in the school environment or school, um, school library and the likes, only whites are given laptops and people of uh, melanated skin or people of color don't have access to laptop and the likes and all. I would really love to know because this is shocking and this is new to me. Probably it might be true. Who knows? But yeah, let's go on. What do you think about the concept of white privilege? I think it's kind of ridiculous to be completely honest with you. I, I don't think it, hmm. it makes any sense. We're all aware that like there's absolutely been oppression in like the last 50 years and there's still oppression today. Like there's no doubt that there's still oppression today. But the term white privilege is used broadly for ex like an incredible amount of things that mm. don't necessarily apply. There's a million different things between the average white person and the average black or Latino, Hispanic, whatever, insert race here, here person, other than the, the color of, uh, of their skin. So you have to take those factors um, into account as well. Depends on the background. The other guy, the one with the sky blue shirt, I love his stance and his point of view and it is crazy how these days this now at this day and age people are now using the term white privilege just to get advantage or just to use it as um, a certain level of to discriminate or set, just to create like a systemic discrimination or segregation amongst people based on their skin color and the likes and now let's talk about the other guy that was talking that uh, talked about oppression people in the before in the 50s experienced oppression and now we are experiencing some certain level of oppression now in this day and age now the question is do you think the level of oppression that people are experiencing now is worse or is more than what people experienced in the 50s i honestly really love your contribution to that because um i mean it seems like Lots of people want to live in that era or in the 50s era where there was a level of segregation, racism and the likes and all. And people are bringing back those ideologies. So I really love to know, do you think today in this present day and age, the level of oppression is more or, or is worse than what we had in the 50s? I honestly love your contribution to that. But yeah, let's go on. Depends on the background where you come up and raised from and just you know you're walking through life different people you meet different opportunities you have that i may not have different opportunities i may not have that you i may have that you may not you know it's just blatantly racist if, if, if you ask me to look at the person and say the only reason where you got where you at is because you were born a certain way nice one brother nice one brother this guy god bless you god bless you like oh my god interesting to hear from someone else's perspective. Beautiful. But yeah, let's go. It's more about what you can do and less about what your predisposition should allow you to do. And that's, I think, the most important thing for people to recognize is, um, yeah, there are white privileges, but there's also Asian American privileges, there's also black privileges, but more importantly, it's socioeconomic privileges. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, share with your friends. Comment your thoughts down below. Follow me and PragerU on social media. Remember to text the word PragerU to 64600 so you never miss a video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Kudos to everybody sharing their thoughts on this. I mean, everybody have got different stance and different way they view it and they see it and the likes. And yes, what the last guy said, there is white privilege, there is black privilege, there is Asian privilege. There is everything privileged and that is absolutely true because people are just making it look like, oh, because you have a certain level of skin color, therefore you have a certain level of advantage 
over somebody else i mean if we're going to be doing that then how are we different or how is it different than what we used to live or what life was back in the 30s and the 20s and the 50s and the likes and all where people saw people for their skin color and people interacted people with people based on their skin color and the level of segregation where people don't want to mix with others and be like oh because you have a certain skin color therefore we're not supposed to be seen together or we're not supposed to be around each other and the likes and all like how is it any different and that is just the question it, it don't make sense to me but honestly this was quite interesting to hear from other people's perspective and everything and um, what i'm just going to say or the message i'm just going to pass across to people is people should stop looking at their skin color first look at yourself what are you going to improve and what, what resources are available to you and what are you going to how are you going to make good use of those resources to give back to the community give back to the society and help other people or how are you helping your community rather than looking at your skin color and using your skin color as a defense or using your skin color as a level to discriminate amongst other people or discriminate or hate on yourself look for some level of some ways to improve and to make good use of the resources you have around you to help your community and to better your community and people should stop looking at their skin color and stop hating on themselves for their skin color listen god created you created you in that way god gave you that skin skin color god gave you the parents you have for a reason god does not make mistake so look at yourself as human being and stop looking at yourself beyond your skin color we should stop doing that and pe people should just come to the realization to welcome and appreciate other people regardless of what they look like or what skin color they have on their skin but yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are your thoughts about this so far i really love your honest contribution to this you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff and until next time see you in the next video